Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Today, let's talk about how to make your linear work with the puffy surface. Not only it will make nicer on your rendering, but also will be better for the production. With this dove animal as an example. Are you ready? Let's get started. We are going to starting with the outline for any of the animal shape that you like. And for to making a certain thickness, we can just come in here to use the command for offset. We want to offset the curve and I'm going to offset inside for 1.5 millimeter and I'm going to hit enter there. Now, before we making any of the extrusion, notice that this is really uh, sharp edges and that's usually cause the problem when you have a fillet. So we actually want this to be rounded. Let's try with the fillet curve and we want to try some radius maybe for 0.7 and we want to click here and here. That one doesn't change mean that one is a little bit too big and we want to try here and here and this one will work. So if you don't have the certain one working, the radius is too big for that specific corner. So let's run it off on um, the rest of the corner for 0.7 and we're going to come in back here to try 0.5 and see how it works. All right, so that gives us an idea. If we have anything bigger than 0.5, then we may have a fit issue later on. All right, so the easy way to making this shape into the solid, it could be just extruded. And so we can go ahead to use the solid, extrude it, and we're going to extrude it straight. And let's say we want to extrude it for um, only on the one side. So click here, both sides equal no on the top. And I'm just going to type it three here. All right. So this is the extrusion. However, if you just go ahead to uh, cast this one and we look at the render, this is really harsh edges and the render doesn't look good. Right. So then we're going to come in back here. Uh, one thing that we can do is make a fit. Now, Fitted edge may cause the problem. Let me move this on the side. And I wanted to show you where it might cause the problem. Any of the sharp point right here, for example, on the beak, or for example, right here will cause the problem because right now, if you take a look on the radius, um, this radius right here is so small. It's like 0.16 here. And the same thing right here is like 0.1. So anything bigger than the 0.1 uh, for the radius will, uh, will have a problem on this corner. So that let me show you what that means. So we want to uh, use the fillet edges command and we want to pick up this like outer edges with, where it has the problem. And let's try something smaller than the 0.1. Uh, just a little bit smaller, so 0 0.08. Hit enter, and we want to hit enter again, and then this will work. As you can see, we do have a fillet, but this fillet is super small, right? To fix this problem, one thing that we can do is we can try to make this fillet bigger before we um, extrude it. So we want to kind of around it, this corner right here. And we also want to round it, this corner right there, All right? So let's give it a try. If we do something like this and we want to measure it first, right here on the radius now, we have something like point, the smallest one, you want to check on the smallest one is 0.26. And this one is coming over here. This is like the smallest one is 0.35. Three, five. So anything smaller than 0 0.26, it should work. Let's give it a try. We are going to use the um, solid. Under the solid, you have extruded planar curve straight. And the same, we want a, a distance for 3. So then we will get this one over here. All right, we want to try fit it, fit it the edges. And this time, we want to try 0 0.2 and see how it works. 0 0.2 and we want to pick up this outside right there. All right, so you work nicely there, but you can only go so much up to point two unless you round it off this area. All right, so if you take a look on the rendering and it's almost like um, you have some flat surface, but it's rounded at the corner or something like that. 
Um, if you are satisfied with that, that's fine. But if you are not, I'm going to show you the other way to make it even more puffier. All right, so we got those two is considered more like a rail. So we will need to creating some cross section. I'm going to use this command this arc start and direction at the arc. And I'm going to snap in somewhere. Let's take a look on the all four view. On the top view, I'm going to snap in somewhere here to here and holding my shift. So I will get at the front view, get something like a half round there. All right. And then we're going to do some uh, arc and all the turning corner there. So again, holding the shift and I'm going to move this one outside a little bit. And we want to do on all corners. So this one will be here holding the shift. This one will be here. And the reason we want to have uh, have on all the uh, turning corner is we will have a better control for it. And so now we have all the things here, right? So let's take a look on this. If you look at the side view uh, or front view, you're going to notice they are different height. Right. So I want them to be the same height by turning on the control point and I want to select all of the uh, three points on the top and using my gumball right here, just click on this uh, 1D scale and just type it zero. So now they are the same height and I can move them down a little bit if I want to. All right. If we look at the perspective, all you see is two rail and some cross section. Let's go ahead uh, using the sweep to rail and you got rail one, rail two, cross section one, two, three, four, five. You have to pick it the same order. All right. And then you will get something like that. We do want to make sure that if you take a look on the side view, you see they are going like high and low. It's because it will expand it depends on the di uh, distance in between. So we want to maintain the high so they will be the same high. And then we want to close the sweep. All right. Before we click on anything, I want you to look at the top view right now. Right here is feel like it's a little bit folding and that doesn't look good. Right. So we want to use S slash right here and we want to add the slash from here to here, kind of address the cross section. So they will be more unified. Um, and then you won't have that weird twisting things over there. So we want to address to somewhere at the midpoint and make sure that everything it look correct. All right. So if those surfaces now look nice to you, just go ahead to hit enter. And then we will have this like really nice and puffy surface. After you got that, we are gonna pick up this original two curve and we are gonna extrude it the surface. So you can pick up both of them, go ahead to join them. So they will join together. All you need to do now is close the button. So we're gonna use the command for cap and then we can cap it. Now let's do some comparison. All right. So after giving the material, they, both of them are the same material, but this one, because it's a r nice and round, it will catch a light. It will react much more like a real go compared to this one is flat, right? It doesn't reflecting really well. So not only it's helped the look, but also help the rendering. It will make your uh, rendering look more realistic. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do you have experience searching online endless and cannot find a perfect video for you? I know learning CAD sometimes is overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be. I'm going to help you by providing you a free one-on-one -on -one consultation. In this section, we are going to brainstorming, understand your jewelry design goal and come up a study plan for you. It is completely free and the seats are limited. Hope to see you in the one-on-one -on -one section. Thank you for watching and I will see you next.